Hello and welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon, where we are in this lovely park. And by the looks of it, you wouldn't tell <laughs> that this is the most adapted park <laughs> ever, <laughs> like literally we ever played. But um, it is, uh, but it doesn't hold us back from steamrolling through it, really, because look, we got 1,100 guests. And we are halfway, yeah, like quite literally. So since we only need to get 1500 guests, we are doing amazing. And uh, well, since we are doing amazing, I want to stay on top of things to, well, you know, uh, keep doing amazing. So what we're going to do is a thing that we haven't done over here in this park. <laughs> yeah, it's a vandalism check. I don't know if it's needed, but we'll find that out quick enough. Um... Well, it seems it's totally not necessary. Well, that's good, really. Um, I mean, <laughs> okay, win-win <laughs> for us. Plus one for the guests, I'd have to say. Uh, Alright, so we've got vandalism check done. Now, I think that we had a pricing check done, like, moments ago. So, we are going to build our next thing. Look, we got almost four grants. So, I'm thinking over here of building a coaster. Why? Well, I mean, why not <laughs> would be the real question. Um, we got l a lot of them, and uh, here's the thing. I think that, you know, this one, I kind of want to build a nice one out of this, which is going to require a little bit more than the amount of cash that we got right now. So I'm thinking of building this reversal coaster, actually. Because, um, well, you know... Seeing how, well, <laughs> we're gonna need to build the coaster and the other two need a lot of cash. Yeah, this is like, you know, the main thing. Now, in terms of location, if we zoom out a bit, there's like, well, three spots more or less we can build it. We could build it over here, which is uh, nice, on top of a hill. We could also build it over here, which is, you know, on the same hill. We could also build it over here. However, I'm thinking that this spot here, we should like reserve this for the steel mini coast because we can utilize hills and uh, <laughs> me like utilizing hills. So um, yeah, we're gonna build it like on top of this hill. But before we just start you know, like smacking it down, really, let's you know think about this a bit more carefully. So. And if we turn off the trees, look, for example, over here would be a very nice spot to hook the whole baby up. We could also go with uh, hooking it up over here. Um, well, in fact, think about it, seeing how we only got like four grants and it's not the most cheapest coaster, we're just going to put it over here and we'll have it stay in this area, you know, <laughs> like the king of the hill. <laughs> Oh, well, all right, so we got a name for this coaster done as well then. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's easy. So, yeah, um, yeah, here's the deal, yo. It's gonna be here, but I guess I just told you that. Um, also, we should think about, you know, hooking it up and stuff, and that we don't block ourselves from doing that. Now, I can't go any further than this. I mean, this track piece is needed over here. There's no... Oh, okay. That's interesting. Um, well, in that case, <laughs> I mean, since it's interesting and all, you know, who likes boring stuff? So, yeah. Um, and that's the longest amount of station length that we can get. Amazing. And you know what's even more amazing? That we're starting it off with a drop. Because we can. Uh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> Um, the other way? Well, that works though, but that does mean that we're gonna block ourselves from doing things with the... Oh no, no we don't. No, we're not blocking ourselves from doing things with the queue and exit path that we need to. Now because this coaster is not gonna be like uh, 8 in the ratings, and it's, it's... I don't even have the intention of making it. We are gonna keep it reasonably low, in comparison to the station at least. So, but seeing how we got this special track piece, we might as well, you know, utilize that now. <laughs> Look how cool it is. <laughs> Small drop, low speeds, and right away you got yourself a special track piece. It's that simple, really. Also, look, another reversal. <laughs> After an S-Bend. Yeah, that's nice. 
Now then, um, yeah. <laughs> and here I was, just moments ago, talking about not blocking ourselves off. Well, I think now would be the perfect moment to put that into practice. So, um, all right, let's get like another S bend in, and then do a curvy curvy thing. Yes. So here we are at height 17, and already now we need to start worrying a bit about like where we're gonna, you know, hook things up and how we're gonna get back and all that jazz. So. Am I? Yeah. Right now we are be, you know, above our own lift. <laughs> so let's move away from that section. And okay, <laughs> well, let's also not intermingle with our right entrance. And uh, why is that not working? Well, that's because of the trees. Well, trees can be removed much more easily than the right entrance can. Yeah. So we'll have like another switch, you know, or a reversal, I guess. And all that we really need to do now is to see that this gets back to the station. So. Alright, so we are at height 17. We need to get to height 13 though, but we can't do too much over here because... <laughs> I don't know who did it, <laughs> but some idiot put a slide over here. Oh wait, <laughs> that's me. Some brilliant dude put a slide over here. <laughs> um, so... Well, well, well. What do we have here? Is this... Ah, oh, you gotta be shitting me. Alright. Um, so, we need to come up with a different solution. Oh, that's actually... This, this is an issue, actually, because... Uh, <laughs> uh, because it is an issue, trust me. So, here's the deal. Uh, we are gonna try and see if we can go uh, through this curve over here. We should have the right approach for it, at least. Footpath, that would. So I'm actually above the... Oh, balls, really. Oh, okay, this is uh, not good. I had not anticipated it being uh, this difficult. Alright, um, well, in that case, we might as well just lower it by one. And then use an S-Band. Something alike. Yes. And now we'll drop the height of it to the you know station height like this. And um, yeah. Also, I'm not quite sure whether or not the trains can actually arrive at the station in like reversed mode. Uh, Maybe they can, maybe they can't. I'm, I don't know really. <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> maybe I should have done some research on this whole thing, huh? <laughs> uh, being like uh, very well prepared as always. Oh crap, and that's not working either. Oh man, it's this whole thingy over here, that S band that's doing me in. So we'll just remove it. Look, now right now, everything should work like a charm. Wait, hold on a second, guess. The, I saw a guess. Yeah, you. Are you like, you know, yeah, you fell off the slide, <laughs> I think. <laughs> That's the only explanation I have. Uh, oh, man. Really? And if I make like another S-band? Yeah, but that's just barely not making it. All right, well, in that case, all we need... Wow, but this is a tight fit, man. <laughs> I mean, really. Oh, and there's still... We, we are still one too high but we can fix that by going to height 13 and if I'm right and I'm not because <laughs> we st oh, oh man yeah speaking about a tight fit over here this just barely fits at all but it fits and that's the important thing so I think we got ourselves quite a cool coaster now in terms of ratings I have no illusion at all that this is not gonna go above five if it does nice for us <laughs> if it doesn't well not nice for us <laughs> but yeah uh, this is just you know, I'm just saying it to not get your hopes up really so now that I have officially crushed your hopes and dreams for this coaster <laughs> well as far as you had one um, yeah you know, let's uh, hook it up wait Game. I'm clicking on trees here, not on crappy whatever else. Yeah, good. 
Okay, um, it's a bit short, but will it do? No, it won't. We'll just go like this, above the toilet, and then, yeah. It's not the nicest solution in terms of uh, pathing, but it will have to do. And for this, yeah, some minor terraforming. Yeah, yeah like that. Perfect, all right. Well, let's turn off these supports now and, uh, you know, get some interior out there, some benches, trash cans, you know, in case some guest feels like, all right, I've got to throw up, <laughs> but I'll be, you know, civilized about it. Whoa, all right, so that's actually not shabby, 5.7. Yeah, we'll definitely open that up now that we have it. Wait, I just clicked 10 minutes here, game. So, what we need is a handy dude here to patrol the exit. You know, like a patrol man. A <laughs> border guard. <laughs> no, not really, but... What we also need over here is a fix mechanic. Because I have every suspicion that if this ride has a station brake failure, then... Okay, so... Is it bro broken down? No, you're not gonna go to the icy innard. Because you got this freaking coaster to patrol on. Not the icy innards or any of anything else in that jazz. Good. Alright. Um, so, we'll just quickly pause it. Because, um, well, for one, I think we got ourselves quite an amazing coaster. I am quite curious to see, though. Yeah, it seems that these trains <laughs> do arrive in reverse. Because we got like, well, how many of these things do we have here? I think we only got three. Oh, that's interesting. Now, well, <laughs> I mean, win-win, really. I don't know which version, you know, if you start out backwards, if that would be more interesting for, in terms of ride excitement. Anyway, not important, really. The ride's there, and um, we are going to color it. Now, because it's all, you know, on top of the hill, and if I look at the color scheme in general, this is missing. So, let's see here. If we can... Ooh, now we need to have, like, a nice... This looks really aerial, really. It's a bit too... <laughs> yeah, no, this looks way too bright. And this? Does this look good? Maybe if I tone this down? No, 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 no. Alright, also, no. If we make it a bit darker, blue-ish. This looks good, though. Even though it's yellow, it does look a bit more like this. I like this. Yeah, this color scheme is nice. We're going to go with this. And then we'll have... Uh, yeah, dark cards, really. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I mean, this is like the brother of that coaster, and it has more or less the same freaking color scheme, huh? So, yeah, how about a freaking dark blue track with a pink thingy? No. <laughs> man, it's a bit... Oh man, I'm having issues with the whole colorization of it. Um, well... Do I like that? We could go with this, and then... Because this is more or less like a pur oh, wait, purple. How does real purple look? A bit darker purple? Yeah, I think this dark... No, darkest purple looks the best. Yeah. And then we'll have golden cars on it. You know, because purple is usually a bit like a royalty color. Uh, <laughs> I'm just making that up now, by the way, but... I'm thinking of it as a royalty color. We just yeah. Yeah, we'll keep this color scheme with the golden cars. And uh we will name this King No <laughs> Regent of the Hill. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. Capitalization, it's important. <laughs> so we got ourselves the regent <laughs> who is king during the absence of the king. Yeah, if that makes any sense. Yeah, coloring's good. I'm uh, I'm happy with it. So, we got ourselves uh, this nice coaster. We also got ourselves our three grants back and, um, well, eggheads, what have you cooked up for me? Well, it's a circus show. Um, Alright, well, <laughs> since it's a circus show, huh? Let's build that. So, uh, where though? I mean, we got 
loads of space, but then again, a lot of it is actually quite inaccessible. Not over there, though. All right, um, good. We are going to build it over here then, because this is nice space. Yeah. All right. Um, like this. And then entrance over here. Exit over there. Charge five bucks for it, even though you know. Um, I mean, <laughs> well, this park has been open for 40 years. I think that this five bucks, well, pricing strategy tactic or whatever <laughs> you'd call it, I think that it's not working as well as it were, you know, as it does in like fresh parks, you know, parks that are newly built at all. So yeah, I wouldn't be so surprised if we only see like 500 bucks or so made with this new pricing. Uh, if I'm honest, but I mean, we'll give it a go anyway, you know, uh, you don't hit if you never try the shot, so yeah, that's uh, some wisdom from me, tycoon sayings, you know, among us in the sea, um, also, we're gonna call this uh, the Fauna Bonanza, Bonanza X, I know, without the X, alright, um, coloring, am I gonna leave Nah, this red and yellow, it looks too much like the balloon stalls as well. So we're gonna change that, and we're gonna change it to... Actually, what we're also gonna do is we're gonna have canvas tent style over here, because we can. I think we're gonna go with, like, uh, blue and green. And then over here as well, green and blue. Yeah, like that. Alright, that looks nice. Good, alright, happy. <laughs> now <laughs> we got ourselves <laughs> almost. Ooh, we got miniature golf coming up. But that's not really what I want to build. Because I want to build another coaster. And we are. We're gonna build this miniature. Uh, yeah, still mini roller coaster. Which is a miniature coaster as well. Um, and we're gonna build that over here. And we're gonna utilize this hill some more. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get cracking at that. Now, there's two ways I could go about it. I could build the station like deep underground, like below... Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Alright, so there is only one way to go about it, and that is to build it underground over here. Well then, if that's the only way, we'll do it like that. Um, also, this is... I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna put tent entrances for this coaster. In case you were wondering, that's not going to happen. Uh, also, I don't want max station length as always. Oh, there's a... Oh. Okay, huh? Well, in that case, we'll continue... Oh, <laughs> never mind that game. What were you on about? With the whole coaster being in the way and whatever else you were saying. Okay, um... Yeah, so... Huh, about... We could climb the hill all the way over here, but then we... Uh, screw it, we're just gonna do that, really. <laughs> we're gonna climb the hill all the way over there. Go up, up, okay. <laughs> Maybe not like that. Uh, that's, that's not gonna work. So, here's the thing. We'll just have a curve in there. And then we'll hit the drink stalls. So that's not good either. Balls, really. Is it that hard to get away over here? No, apparently so. I wouldn't have thought it would be this hard, but maybe right now we can get some yeah, we can get some nice hill utilization over here. Alright, we'll just have a few pieces of it would. That many pieces of straight, really? Come on, let me utilize the hill. Look how this is hill utilization. You know, we could get one level higher, but really, I mean, <laughs> height level 28, oh man, <laughs> yeah. This, ladies and gentlemen, is gonna be an awesome coaster, I can tell you that. Um, so we'll have just a you know, gentle drop in there at first. I mean, this is only, you know, dropping down a high level or eight or so. But then, oh <laughs> man, there's gonna be a freaking massive drop leading into the underground. You know, to spice it up like right from the start. Like, whoa, <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh man. Uh, also, where is like the bid square? That's important. Because uh, 
I got a plan for this coaster. Yeah, look, we're gonna go above the ground again over here. Like this. Okay, maybe not like that, but at height 10 right now, we are running more or less in parallel with the coaster over here, which I think is quite cool and it should add to the ratings, if anything. So, right now we can go below the coaster, which we'll do. Uh, in fact, we really need to do. So, but we'll go up again as well because, um, yeah, you know, all we did really <laughs> was just have a few breaks or a few drops in there. We're going at a blazing speeds as well now, though. So, yeah, we should still have blazing speeds at this point in the track. So, now then, we don't have any helixes. I want one. You know what, instead of, we'll just have it go up like this. We should also have enough speed for all these shenanigans that I'm doing right now. So, shouldn't be an issue. Have like a bit of a diagonal track like this. Wow, how nice. You know what, I think that right now it's more or less helix time. <laughs> yep, there is such a thing. So, helix up, helix up. Uh, no, I meant up. Up small, yes. And then another helix up large. Alright, you know what? What we're also going to do is um, put like the uh, entrance and exit down over here. Just so we have those. So we can't screw over our tracks. Really. No. What I want to do is actually go down. And just take another peek in the underground, well, regions of our park. Let's put it like that. If that means removing a few trees, I'll be happy to do so. So, you have been warned, <laughs> Greenpeace. <laughs> um, yeah, so how about it? Oh, there's actually stuff down there, but... Well, we'll just drop like crazy, you know, have another steep drop in there. I mean, why not? <laughs> we got plenty of those already, so we might as well just add more, <laughs> right, while we're at it. So, yeah. Oh, really? Balls, game. Balls. Oh, man. Alright. So, in that case, really, we can't do anything else than this. Yeah. That's bad. Um, oh, well. You know what? Yeah, we... Alright. I'm looking at a cache, and I think, you know... If we didn't have like this crazy amount of depth, uh, you know, just looming above us, really, I would have gone above ground again and do some other cool things with this coaster, really. But seeing how we do have a massive depth looming above our heads, I'm not gonna do that. So here's the deal: we are just gonna return to the station like a good coaster does. Uh, all right. Can I do this? I can. Alright, what we need is uh, a break piece like over here. So if I break it to like, uh, no, <laughs> not an s <-band. laughs> If I break it to like speed 20, then it should be all nice and dandy. So, here we go. Let's see how this goes in the test ride. Well, well, <laughs> one thing. Let's just go back to the usual. <laughs> we dial, <down>, man. <laughs> oh crap, and I forgot to set up any different kind of terrains. Now, ah, well, screw it. We'll just run with the standard stuff. Very original. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh well, it can't always be original. Um, so, I mean, playing this game on YouTube is anything but original. <laughs> just as a side note there. <laughs> Um, also, look at how easy this... Uh, oh, wait. Hold on a second. Wow, look at the speeds at which it goes through there. <laughs> we might actually have, like, uh, a bit too extreme speeds, uh, really. <laughs> yeah. We might actually get, like, really extreme ratings on the whole thing. Just, you know, realizing that right now. But... We can easily fix that by just breaking it a little bit. You know? Some more, before it does all these crazy shenanigans in the underground, really. 
so yeah. Shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> well, except if our guest got whiplashes and all. <laughs> Which is very likely if I'm... Whoa, looking at the G's. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and 100 kilometers as well. And if you look at these tracks, I mean, it's all like flimsy steel, you know. There's <laughs> no thick support tracks or anything. And the G's are massive on this. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, extreme? No. Whoa, 6.4. Well, that's good. And we got ourselves a car ride, huh? Oh well. Anyway, um, yeah, so what we're gonna do is, um, we'll give this uh, a paint job. <laughs> because, quite frankly, it can use it. I'm not gonna color this red, because we have too much red in the park. What I'm missing, really, is a nice and yellow thing. So... No, but I mean, <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, green? Yes, 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 yes. And then we'll have uh, these icy supports, which make it stand out even more. And it matches nice with the um, with the maze over here. By the way, I mean these colors, man, they look damn sexy if you ask me. And these orange trains. No, we can we can check it over here with the trains. Do I want this? No, we don't. Can we have actually and then this? You know what? Why not? <laughs> I mean, well, <laughs> because it looks <laughs> weird and wrong. But really, I think I like the contrast. The track colors are quite amazing. And then we got the <laughs> well, girlish colors. <laughs> well, you know, very cool coasters are for tough men and cool boys and hot hunks and whatever else you'd call them. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go with this. Um, and in terms of a name, how about the Hunkinator? <laughs> the Hot Hunkinator. Yeah. Hot Hunkinator. <laughs> Alright, good. Um, wow, That's, I think it's quite a nice track. It's cheap, it's easy, and it has decent ratings. So, I say, all in all, a big success for us. Alright, um, yeah, we got you dude out here. We also need a uh, dude like you. And I think we could as well use like an extra loose mechanic, you know, just one ju who just patrols the park. And also, seeing how we're making loads of cash, we'll get like a third guard out there. It's not really needed, but, you know, I mean, <laughs> well, we checked the vandalism and it was non-existent, really. But I think it's better to stay ahead of vandalism than have it, you know, pop up later. Also, is this like... No, it's not vandalized. Good. Good, good. So, um... Here we are, in July year 2, with not a whole lot left to build and only 250 guests to go, and that is more challenging than it seems. Especially because we only got one coaster left to build. Now, I don't know about the research department, but... Uh, so there are still gentle rides coming, but... I don't really, I mean, a car ride, that's nice, and a miniature golf is, like, nice, but this is average at best. This can be somewhat decent. And then a mine train coaster, but really, I'm not sure if we can just lure in, like, an extra 250 guests with just those three rides, you know, just saying. Oh, but... Uh, <laughs> I just remembered now. <laughs> we gotta ace up our sleeves. This all right. Nothing to worry about. So join me next time as we will save this park from well <laughs> impending depth dooms. <laughs> so uh, yeah, join me then.